Hello. I will do something now with these duck eggs. <laughs> Let some more people join in a minute and then I'll, um, <laughs> I'll have a go. God knows what they're going to taste like. Has anybody else had them? <laughs> you're weak. I just hope I survive this, that's all. Right, so what we got here is 100 century duck eggs. So, judging by the picture, they are nice. Uh, I don't know what colour that is inside. Browny, shitty black colour. So these have been fermented for God knows how long. Um, I'll take one out now. It's very comforting that they come with um, instructions. And if I'm right, that is Chinese for try not to shit yourself. Okay. So, here's the eggs. I'll lift them up a bit higher. No, no, what am I doing? Take one out first, rather. That's good. Right. All are played because we're not animals, yeah. And we have a nice individually wrapped 100 century duck egg. Bear with me. That's quite a pretty egg. There you go. Looks like a pebble, actually. I promise you it's not a pebble. So, I have no idea how this is going to open because normally a boiled egg will come off easy, but I've, I genuinely have never opened one of these. So, I'm going to try and do it the normal way. My wife is there and she is looking horrified. So, ooh, it's a bit softer than a normal egg would be. It's got gently peel this. Oh my word. Oh, look at that colour. I mean, that is like a hole to oblivion. Um, oh my God. Who? Oh my God, it smells like somebody's farted. Oh, this is jet black. Okay. I'm scared to open it too fast just in case there's something inside and flies away. And it's starting to get a bit moist. Oh my word. Does not look appetizing in there. Oh my! Oh, that smells wrong. That really smells wrong. Right, let me just get rid of these shells. Get rid of those shells in there. So it's a pretty colour, but um, it looks like an aubergine. Don't think it's gonna taste like an aubergine. Oh, that is so wrong. I, I honestly apologise in advance to any of my students if I die between now and tomorrow's lesson. But my kids betted me I won't eat one, so of course I have to. Yeah. Okay, two seconds, I gotta play it and then I'm gonna uh, try to pick up enough courage to eat this. And I have another load more to go through as well. I only gonna eat. 
Okay, hold on one So, has anybody actually tried these? Anybody on here? My daughter fetched them from Cardiff for me from a Japanese shop. Okay. So I think I'll start with cut one and a half for a start. To have a look what is inside. Because this is scaring me what might be inside this. Maybe it looks better than. Uh, no, it doesn't look any better inside. Oh my. Oh! Jesus Christ! Oh, that's wrong on so many levels. It does smell like somebody's farted in my mouth. Oh my God, look at that. That is just, oh sorry, let me get in front of the camera. That is like, that is like the worst case of anything you'll find dripping out of anything. God alive. Oh, God. Oh, my okay. God. Here we go. <laughs> Napa, shut it. <laughs> or I'll be fetching one of these down to you to eat. Right, here we go. Okay. Oh. Oh, the texture. Oh, God. Oh, my word. Oh, I can't. It tastes, I don't know what it tastes like. It tastes, it tastes like I'm eating a fart. Oh. These are a delicacy. What the? F oh my! F Watch this now. It's actually smearing down your finger. Look. Oh. I might only be able to eat half of one of these. Oh, it does smell like dog shit. Oh. Oh. I got a drink. Oh my God, now but again. Jesus Christ! I can strongly, strongly, can it's on my cheeks. Recommend. I can strongly recommend you lot never, ever, ever to try these again. If anybody does want to try one, <laughs> you can have the rest of these. Because, like, fuck, am I putting the nose in my mouth again? Oh! I can still taste it. This is literally, if somebody said I just cooked a fart and wrapped it in dog dirt, I could well believe it. I am ill. Right. God. I hope you all enjoy that. Oh my god. Ah. But it's been fun. <laughs> Tell our guys.